So in today's video, we've got a small deployment for a local school, which is going to be done on the Unify platform. Now, Unify is great for things like access points, as well as cameras. Now we've got three pieces of equipment that we need to unbox. So let's jump in the workshop and get started. Our first piece of equipment is a Cloud Gateway Ultra. Now this is the controller for the entire network. It's a compact cloud gateway that can handle up to 30 plus Unify devices and over 300 clients. It has a gigabit IPS routing and multi-WAN load balancing. Now this is a great piece of equipment for a small to medium network deployment. So it's perfect for our requirements. Now it's powered by USB-C and it comes with a UK power adapter. It has four gigabit LAN ports as well as one 2.5 gigabit WAN port. So let's get this unboxed and take a closer look. As always, Unify comes with well packaged and as you can see, has this lovely gateway controller inside the box. And if we take this packaging off, we can have a, a bit more closer look at the interface. As you can see, you've got a screen on the front here and you've got your four one gigabit LAN ports, as well as your 2.5 gigabit WAN port there. Obviously over here, we've got the USB-C for powering it, and of course the usual reset button. So that's our controller, which will get programmed up shortly. So our next piece of equipment is an eight port layer two PoE switch. It has four PoE plus gigabit ports and can offer 52 watts of total PoE output. Now we're going to be using this uh, switch to be powering an access point, which we'll get to in a second, but we're also going to be using it to power some telephones. Looking at the specifications, we can see that it's got 52 watts. Uh, that's with external PoE power adapter, and it can handle a maximum of 30 watts PoE plus per port. Okay, so let's get this unboxed. Let's have a take a look at it. As usual, we've got the uh, Ubiquiti uh, boxing there really good inside the box we've got this european adapter which we won't be using obviously because we're using it in the uk so let's pull out this fella again as usual we've got the ubiquity packaging and what i like about this particular model is again it's solid it's really a solid piece of kit we take a look at the back, we can see that we've got this um, power inlet here. And you'll see here that there's this uh, uh, beveled piece here, which I believe is for plates that you can have to wall mount it. As you can see, we've got our eight ports uh, on the front there. The first four are for your PoE and the other four are non-PoE. If we focus over here, you can see that the indicators of what the lights will do when it's powered up which is quite a good indicator of what's going on. Also in the box, you'll find we have that wall mounting plate that I spoke about before, some screws, and we have this power adapter. So there you go, that's what makes up your eight port PoE switch. Next up, we have the U6 Plus. This is a compact ceiling mounted Wi-Fi access point. It is Wi-Fi 6. Now, this access point can handle up to 300 plus connections, so it's perfect for a medium sized deployment. It's powered by PoE, which means we can then use our switch to power it. And if we take a further look into the specification of the model, we can see it offers 2x2 MIMO on the 2.4 gigahertz range and 2x2 MIMO on the 5 gigahertz range. Now, in terms of Wi Fi compatibility, this is 802.11a, B, G, N, AC and AX compatible, as I said, it is Wi-Fi 6. So it offers the full range of security options and can handle up to eight wireless networks. So let's get this unboxed and take a closer look. We open the box, we'll see, let's have a look. We've got the usual uh, screws, etc. there. Let's see if we can slide this out. Okay, so there you go. There's our U6 Plus access point. It's got a cover on it, obviously, which we'll take off for the moment. And as you can see there, we've got the usual disc with the 
RJ45 socket there for the network. And if you look quite closely, if the camera can see that, you've also got your reset that sits in there too. So this has a plate which can be uh, ceiling mounted. So if we just take a look at what's in the box, you'll see that we have this template for marking out. We have this metal dish here for uh, mounting it on drop ceilings. And then we have the actual plate that we would use. We're mounting our access point on the wall, not on the ceiling, because the existing access point is more mounted. So we're just gonna go where the cable is. So that's what's in the box with your U6 plus access point. Okay, so all we gotta do now is get all these equipment adopted into our Unify ecosystem and get them programmed up for the client, ready for deployment. Starting with, of course, the controller. So after completing the initial setup on my phone using the Unify app, I turned to my web GUI to complete the installation. So the first thing we need to do is to add a local admin user and we need to change the network settings. So let's do that first. We head over to the cog and we go into our network settings here. And the first thing we're gonna do is to change the IP address of the network. So what I'm gonna change this to is 192.168.2.1 and then I'm gonna click apply. Then we want to go down to admin and users. I'm gonna go over to the right hand side, click the plus sign and then tick this box to say restrict to local access only. And then we can put in the local user details. Now we've got that done, the next thing we need to do is to make sure there are any other updates. So we'll click on the applications and as you can see, there is an update for this deployment. So I'm gonna go ahead and update the network. So that job's complete, and we've now updated the Unify network from 8.3.32 to 8.6.9. So once we've done that, we now need to set up a new virtual network. So we come over here and we click on new virtual network. We're gonna give it a name, and we're going to assign it the IP address of 192.168 point 1.1 1 .1. i'm going to leave that as 24 and we're just going to click on add and as you can see there we have the new office ip address so that ip address will be the range for all office equipment and the default one will be for all the unify equipment so our next port of call at this point is to now introduce the switch and adopt that into the customer's cloud controller and as you can see it's saying that we have the usw light eight port PoE switch. I'm gonna click on add to add it to this client controller. And as you can see, it's now waiting to be adopted. So we'll go ahead and adopt that. And that's the switch now adopted into the cloud controller. So our next thing to do here now is to set up the Wi-Fi. So I'm just gonna get the U6 plus access point. We'll then adopt that into our platform. And as you can see, the new access point has appeared in our GUI. So what we can do now is click on add and adopt. And that will now adopt into our Unify platform. Now that I've adopted all three pieces of equipment, the next thing I need to do is go back into my settings and set up the Wi-Fi. I'll give it the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. Now, because this network is gonna be part of the Office environment, I'm gonna drop that down and choose Office so that this network will only be assigned IP addresses from that network. I'm gonna click add Wi-Fi network. So now what I have is a Wi-Fi network set up. I have all my networks set up and my connection is ready to be deployed. Okay, so that's all the equipment all configured and set up. All we need to do now is get it packed up and get it installed. So let's hit the road. Let's get this installed. Right, that's that installation done. All went swimmingly, all the equipment's in. We just uh, need to go and sort out 
the telephone service now and uh, that'll be that installation done perfect now one of the things with this installation is of course it was in a school so we couldn't go and film obviously in there so the main thing is the installation went in nice and smooth and everything's up and running so hopefully you found this video useful let us know in the comments down below my name's rob from rls computer services i'll catch you in the next video